what's going on guys welcome back to the channel my name is Travis and today I got another AC service call for you so if you want to see how I do it I'll meet you at the customer's house okay I just spoke to the customer the complaint is this is a system that we installed probably like a couple months ago it's a brand new AC system and what he's saying is his drain pan is is filling up with water he was afraid to keep running it because he was afraid that the drain pan would overfill and run onto a ceiling but he called this weekend and um, he, he went ahead and scheduled for today so the first thing that we go do he says the air conditioner works fine it's, it everything's cooling perfectly it's just the pans filling up so what we're going to do uh, we're going to go ahead upstairs in the attic start taking a look and go from there so i'll see you in that all right we're up here in the attic and as you can see there's a water all in this drain pan here's our drain line so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to clean out this drain line okay we have a loose thing here look at that look at that water pouring out of that drain line so we have water backing up in our drain line somewhere so we've get, definitely got a blockage what i'm going to do is i'm going to take i'm going to block off air here and I'm gonna blow down this to blow anything out okay I don't see anywhere the drain line is running up okay I don't see anywhere upstairs that the drain line is actually going uphill or has a negative slope so we're gonna go ahead to the crawl space it's always good because when you install a new system more than likely they they run that to the old drain line so let's make sure there's no sags in the crawl space that could make this drain stop up so i'll see you in the crawl space all right here's where our drain goes down into the crawl space so it's always good to make sure there's no uh, sags in the line which this one is good and next we'll go, go outside where it leaves the house to make sure nothing's stopping up there all right here's where the drain leaves the house and as you can see here this is the stuff that i blew out so i guess this drain before we installed it it actually had some debris and stuff in it so we got that all that stuff out so we fixed the clock i'll see you back in the truck so guys even on a two month old ac system you can still have a stopped up drain so that's why it's always good if you're installing a brand new system always hooking your drain back up always blow your drain line out to make sure there's there's nothing stopped up in it'll save on a first year warranty call but this one you could see the debris white stuff that actually came out of the drain so that's what was actually blocking this drain up so we got everything blew out we checked in the crawl space there was no sagging lines we checked outside you know there's no dirt covering up the drains which a lot of times that can end up happening i see a lot of times with brand new systems when they're put in and you hook to the old drain line a lot of times the installers they don't go in the crawl space to check the drain and what i end up finding is you know you have a new trap up at the at the air handler or, or evaporator coil and then in the crawl space uh, either a strap has broke or something like that and the line will actually sag and if you have more so a, a sag could actually really mean that's that's another trap in the system so if you have more than one trap which comes from a sag then basically that can stop up the air conditioner as well so I always check that to make sure nothing is broke nothing sagging but other than that this this problem is fixed and the customer's happy and this was covered under first year warranty since this system is only a couple months old so another water problem up another water problem down as always when we work together we can fix this stuff this is a pretty simple one so guys i thank you for joining me i hope you learned something and if you did hit that like and subscribe button it means a lot to me and as always i'll see you on the next service call bye guys